making 2D animations with a 3D software might sound a lot more complicated than it needs to be, but I kind of found out that that's kind of not the case, right? So this is Blender 2.8 and I wanted to see what I could do with it. Granted, I'd never actually opened Blender before for any reason, 3D or 2D, so this video is really anyone's game. How well this would go. I kind of just wanted to test the capabilities of the software and what I could do with it. And since I'm drawing frame by frame, I was kind of skeptical as to whether this will work pretty well. And just so you know, this whole animation was done in Blender 2.8, except for the concept part, which I did in Photoshop. So obviously, when I was doing my first rough sketches for the animation, it worked pretty much like any other 2D animation software. You just take one view, you lock it to that side, and you keep drawing in every single frame until you get what you need your animation to be. After that, the tricky bit came around, which was when I tried to color things up. So coloring in Blend 2.8 makes you have to use materials, not just a color palette like you would in anything else. And when you create these materials, they remain just like they do in uh, 3D software. And if you switch around the colors in the material bar, it switches around, it changes the colors in your viewport as well. And now, we take a break for Borderlands. And we're back. So I started trying to figure out a background. And if you're as unprepared as me, you'd probably do this quite a few times. Until I settled with this painted background image that I thought just kind of tied everything together. Um, another cool thing that Blender 2.8 had that I kind of found out accidentally were effects. And these effects included a rim light, which I then added to every single element in my scene except for the leaves because I'd multiplied them way too many times and I had no patience to go back in for that. There was something missing, so I added a cloud to kind of break up the background and foreground, and that had a glow effect on it. And I thought that was pretty cool, so I went and put it into the moon as well. And there you have it. I switched around with the colors a bit more. And this is the final product. Hey. 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 